Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have a Thule roof rack. We're going to talk about how it fits on our 2022 Toyota Tacoma. So for your Toyota Tacoma, I know you have a lot of space for all kinds of things in your truck bed and you also have the option to use a ladder rack. But what if that's not enough? Or what if you want to carry accessories specifically on your roof? Like a kayak or a roof box. What you then need is a roof rack system. This is gonna be a custom fit roof rack system for your truck. This is Thule's offering here with a 53 inch long crossbars. So there's some pros and cons to this specific style and we will talk about that here in our video. So for crossbar length, I have some opinions on that because if you want to make it easier for you to carry things, I would go ahead and get longer crossbars. If you want something that's more sleek or more low profile, this is a good length for you. And with the Tacoma being a taller vehicle, you're not as worried about hitting your head against the crossbars if you have a lot of overhang. So here we have an overhang and that's measured from the tower to right before your end cap of an inch and a half. And that's not that much. So if you want to clamp something to your overhang, this won't give you as much space for it. But if you're using a T-Track channel, you can then use all of your crossbar to mount your accessory. Your T-Track channel or your track is where you can put your different T-Track mounted accessories. The tool makes it where you can just flip the end cap up. You can slide your accessories through. It's kind of cool that this splits apart so you don't have to cut things up, but I have noticed over time that this does get some wear and tear. And when you carry a roof rack, there's two dimensions for clearance that you'll have to think about. One is how much clearance you have for clamps that go around the rack. That's measured from the top of the roof to the bottom of the crossbar. Now I have it at about two and a half inches of clearance. Next is how high does this roof rack sit? Measuring from the roof to the top of the rack, that's going to be about, hmm, let's say four or three and three quarter inches. So if you're carrying around, let's say skis and snowboards with extra tall bindings, you're going to make sure that they don't hit your roof. But also with a taller truck, you want to make sure you have enough garage door clearance. There's a specific measurement where this roof racks it, so you cannot move it back and forth for different accessories. So measuring from one crossbar to another, I have a crossbar spread of 27 and a half inches. So double check your accessories, make sure it fits within that, and if it doesn't, you can't move this style of a roof rack. Construction is really sturdy. We have that aerodynamic shape for less wind drag and noise. The bars are made of aluminum, so it's strong and you do have a 165 pound weight capacity. You also have your towers, which are very sleek and low profile, and you have these plastic end caps. So the end caps are fine for keeping things secure, although I do recommend taking a look at the Thule locking end caps. Those fit in there and then you can get them keyed alike to your other Thule accessories if you want them to match. So this also has a custom fit kit. So that's three different parts, the crossbars, the towers, and the fit kit. And notice how this is designed around the contours of your truck. That's why it's very important to use our fit guide here at eTrailer.com to make sure you get the correct full kit for your Tacoma. Now this will fit inside the weather seal of your vehicle. So it looks kind of involved, but it's very simple and we will take a look at that install process. The installation process might be a little complicated because you have different number of pads, different number of hooks, what goes where, and that's what this video is for. I'll guide you through that process and we will start with getting your crossbar set up. So if you have the rubber strips included, install those onto your crossbar. Then flip the crossbar over and we're gonna take the end cap off. So you do that by pressing down and then pulling on the end cap. And then you get your tower. So notice on your tower how you have this silver plate. You're gonna pinch on that plate. And that way as you pinch, you can see that the top bracket of the tower lifts up. So do that pinching movement as you slide it through the crossbar. Do that for all four of the towers. 
Now, how far do you put those towers? Well, your fit kit will have a measurement to show you how far out you need to put the stopper. In our case, we need it to be at 46 and a half inches. So make sure that number is lined up with this edge. And then you can slide your entire tower over to meet the stopper. So your front and your rear crossbar, you need to decide that ahead of time because the measurements may be different. And you're also gonna have to figure out which one is your driver's and which one is your passenger side. So notice here how the angle or the shape of our crossbar is different. You want the taller portion facing front, the narrow or thinner portion facing back. So this is our front crossbar and we're gonna flip this over and this is going to be the passenger side, so get the appropriate pad. The number will be in the corner of the pad, so get the appropriate one according to your fit kit, and then that fits over your tower. So it should kind of snap into place. And with those rubber pads on, we're then going to gently set this onto the roof. It's a little easier if you have another friend on the other side to help you out but this can also be done on your own. There's a measurement on your fit guide for where to put the tower. So for the front, it's gonna be measured from the front windshield. We're gonna go 12 and a quarter inches back, and that measurement's supposed to line up with the front of your tower. This is done best with a soft tape measure if you have one on hand. So for installing the custom fit hooks for your truck, it's a little bit of an interesting situation. So you're gonna have to make some space here with your wind stripping. So pull down at it. That's okay if you hear a little bit of a click there. So once that's clear, you're then going to attach the clamp. So this goes all the way up into the clamp on your tower. So go up there until you feel it secure. And then this is gonna fit into your door. Once you've done that on both sides, you can then push up on your weather stripping. I like to give it just a little bit of force so I know it's in there. And the way I tighten down the towers is I do it evenly on each side. So we'll go about halfway over here, then go back to the other side and go halfway over there. And to prevent over tightening, the tool you get with your kit actually has a torque setting. So once you get to the proper tension or torque, in our case, three Newton meters, it should start clicking and prevent you from tightening it further. Your final step, once you have everything installed, is to install the end caps. So there's two end caps. One is for the towers and the other is for the crossbar. So these just pop right in. And for the tower end cap, you do have the option to use a metal lock core. Now that is sold separately. I also use just a flathead screwdriver or my own keys to tighten down that plastic lock core and that keeps everything secure. So make sure all of the four towers are locked and then just double check that everything is secure. And once it is, then that's it for your install. You're now ready to load this up and hit the road. So some thoughts on this specific reef rack for your truck is if you do have other Thule accessories or you're a fan of the Thule sporty but also strong style then this is a good option for you i personally would recommend getting slightly longer crossbars just so that you can fully utilize your roof rack and it makes it a little easier to reach but it really is up to what kind of look you are going for also hopefully the measurements like the crossbar spread helped you out with seeing if it will fit your accessories and if you have a ladder rack that will also help you figure out if it can pair well with that rack. That right there was a look at our Thule roof rack with the 53 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars, the Evo clamps, and the custom fit kit for your 2022 Toyota Tacoma.